Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate your support. The uh, 2017 snowstorm just hit New York here. Uh, we're getting about uh, 8 to 10 inches. Um, it's supposed to ease off um, later on tonight. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. Eastern Long Island is getting hit pretty bad. They are going to be in a state of emergency around 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. They want everybody off the road so they can get, get this shit cleared up. Well, if you're living in the, if you're living uh, up here in New York, you know this kind of stuff you've got to be used to. You know where we do get snow, and there's no, uh, no way around it. Um, which, if you're prepared for it, you know it's, uh, it's a good thing. But um, I'm going to show you some of the preps that I have. Um, you guys might pick something up. You might be able to add to your preps, or you might leave comments downstairs. Maybe what I'm lacking. All right. So here we go. The first prep. <coughs> one of my first preps is fire extinguishers. I have multiple fire extinguishers in my home. Um, you know, if the fire department can't get to you, um, you will become the first responder if something happens in your home. So fire extinguishers is a must, guys. So I have a good few of these puppies lying around. The gas situation is for my uh, snowblower generator. Um, this is only a little bit of what I have. I got a lot more in the garage in the back. But I brought this up front today just to run this puppy. My generator is in the back shed with the rest of the gasoline and stuff. Uh, snowblower, um, always a handy item to have. If you can afford one, um, you know, you pick one up. And, uh, you know, Craigslist is the way to go. If you're handy, you can, you know, pick some up. You don't need state-of-the-art. I picked this puppy up pretty right, pretty, pretty right, uh, 450 or something like that. And I got a good deal on it, paid off for it over time. And that's it. The uh, Second Amendment is very important <clears throat> to be able to protect yourself and, and your family. Um, you know, when shit's, you know, not up to par, law enforcement ain't going to be able to get to you, um, mightn't be able to get to you in this situation. So to be able to protect yourself and the family is a must. Today is the Glock 26, and I do have uh, the Ruger LCP in my pocket. I picked up a, more, a couple more cans of the, uh, the rock salt. Um, I have a lot of this stuff. I uh, got some in the back over here. I got more in the shed in the back. I just uh, got a good deal in these. Four bucks a piece today over at Ace Hardware. Uh, I still get my uh, my kid used to work there before he uh, shipped out. And the uh, shout out to Ace Hardware. They're still giving me the uh, his discount. So that's pretty cool. The leaf blower. What the hell am I going to do with a leaf blower in the snow, you say? This is a great item to blow off your vehicles with. Uh, so if you have a leaf blower... Uh, you use it to blow off the snow and it gets it right out and it does a great job and uh, it's easy on the back and stuff like that. Um, I have a barbecue in the back so I have uh, multiple um, propane tanks uh, just in case we do lose power and um, you know save the uh, save my gas running the generator just light up the uh, barbecue and the generator would be just for a little heat and a little bit of creature comforts and um, when I lose power, I will run my generator on a need on a need need to basis, not just to have it on all the time. Just keep the heat up in the house. Better get some coffee, watch a little bit of TV for a little bit, and then we go dark. Um, because I, you know, no point of uh, running out of uh, gasoline and all that good stuff. Although the generator I have, I'll do a video on that later, actually, because it's an awesome generator. It's a Generac. And uh, I get good mileage to the gallon on that puppy. I will do a video, a separate video on that uh, later. Um, I do have uh, a compressor here. There's another fire extinguisher compressor. In case I need it to, uh, and I do actually need it to uh, pump up my uh, snowblower wheel right there. So that's basically it right here, guys. Um, I just want to, I'm going to take you around the back over here. And I want to show you uh, uh, a medicine uh, cabinet that I have. And I'll tell you a little bit, a uh, quick story about that. Hang on. All right, this kid was getting uh, was getting uh, thrown out in um, in a job in the city. Uh, the first aid kits are mandatory in the jobs in the city, but when they're done, they just kick to the curb. So I picked this puppy up, brought her home, cleaned it up, and uh, screwed it on my wall right here, and started filling it with some medical uh, with medical stuff, first aid kits, um, aspirin, all that kind of good stuff, and. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. So, you know, like I said, in an emergency situation, you will become your own doctor. You know, hopefully you don't have to do that. But um, any minor medical uh, issues that come up, at least you got to be able to cover them. 
So I found this box a, a real, uh, a real good handy, uh, handy little uh, storage unit. Uh, you get them on um, Northern Tools, that website. Um, if I find the link, I leave it downstairs. I think when they come fully stocked, they're around three hundred bucks. Um, I just uh, retrieved the box and I just uh, filled the box myself as we were going. Had the water department pick up some. Uh, Pick up some stuff and just keep adding and keep building, keep building my medical kit. That's the way you do it, and it's just in a nice spot. <clears throat> yeah. Also, due to the uh, uh, high cost of ammo, there would be no warning shots given in this house. Um, I do have my bug out bag. Uh, it's not my bug out bag. It's my get home bag. Um, I brought it in just for my truck, cause I want to go through it later on. I'll have nothing to do. I want to make sure it's up to speed and. Um, Making sure it's ready to roll with me in the, tomorrow when we uh, have to go out there, get out there and uh, help people out. Because uh, we're part of a team here in Long Island now, and I'm uh, excited about it. I'll tell you more about that one once we, <coughs> we once we get this team. It, the, the team is up and running, but once we get more into it, <coughs> I'll explain to you about that team and uh, procedures to join us if you're in the near, if the, if you're in the area. I got these uh, this uh, medical um, packs. I got these from the uh, Skinny Medic. Great, uh, great packs, guys. Highly recommend. I'll leave a link to the Skinny Medic uh, website downstairs. He's also on YouTube. Check him out. He's a great, uh, good guy. And the packs are well, they're well made. And um, they're a great price. He has them a great price. And I think they're 20% off right now. <clears throat> I will do a review on this gun when I get a chance. Um, I think every home should have one of these puppies. Um, I know... Chuck has a bunch of them, you know, that's why uh, Chuck has it, you know, it's the redneck plunger. But anyway, uh, moving on, I'll do a full review on that firearm later, at a later date. And that's it. Um, that's my freezer, fully stocked. Um, you're in my garage right now. That's another refrigerator stocked with uh, beers and water and whatever other items I have in there. And... Uh, that's it so I'm kind of pretty well set at that end just had a nice little uh, steak dinner from the water apartment gonna give the snowblower a little bit of a break tonight and uh, get out there and just uh, shovel up this uh, get a little bit of exercise in and that's one of the new policies in 2017 get into shape you know you never know <clears throat> not gonna not gonna be bodybuilding like Chuck but you know I mean I'm gonna be close to it all right, fellas, take it easy. By the way, guys, um, on, a, on, a, on a side note, um, there's an AR-15, uh, an AR-10. Uh, it's an AR-10, uh, 308. And my buddy Ebomi is giving away. I'm going to leave a link to that channel downstairs, Ebomi. Check it out. For $10, you might have a chance to win an AR-10. So check him out down there. Um, I'll also be doing a, um, a video to get in on that later on. All right, gentlemen, take it easy. You dragged it out long enough. See you guys later. Oh, where did I put that beer? I mean the shovel. There you are, little rascal, trying to run away on me. <laughs>